Hey, 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 good people. We are in the lab. Okay. Oh, my bad. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> in the car. That's our lab because that's sorry. when we have a moment. Lying. I didn't know what was doing. Oh, my God. Like, Ed is sleeping. I'm sleeping too, but I ain't doing all what he doing. I'm driving. Don't be yawning like why you just okay. So look, we wanted to come on here to talk to you real quick, like because we were having a conversation, and I was like, I know that we're not the only people experiencing this right now. So if we talk about it, let me see if I can get this on. If we, you ain't got to look in the camera because you're driving. If we talk about it, then maybe other people can get some ideas, or we can at least get a conversation going. And we'll go from there. Okay, so I was flirting with him, uh, <laughs> saying a little, you know, cool, and maybe just a little, little nasty something. And it, he started walking a little different. I was like, man, you got a little pep in your step, right? And so when we got in the car, he said, you know, I can't believe that still works. Like, I know what you're doing, but it still makes me feel some type of way. And so, um, I was like, well, you know, you have to, he was like, I wonder why everybody doesn't do that. Like, why don't all women do that for their husbands? And I said, you know, it comes down to, you have a lot of stuff on your plate. And sometimes we forget to make things like that a priority because I did. I started doing it more again because of a conversation that we had about you know, things that we would like to see more of. And that's something I used to do a whole lot that I had really stopped doing a lot. I, I just wasn't something that was a priority, but it was important. You just gonna yawn through the whole thing. Uh, not too. Oh, I'm not. I should've gave you a warning. Next time I give a warning. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna go right here. When you got something to say, I'll put the camera oh, on you. We even to sit up and watch me yawn out So look. Now you made me forget what, okay, here we, this is what we're talking about. So, um, Lord have mercy. I was doing, I wasn't doing as much flirting and being like that as I used to. Cause you know, before the kids, I, you know, sending all kind of pictures and all kind of little text messages. You got time. You know, I got time today. And then when you got the two kids, you ain't got the time. And so, um, and then, so his question to me was, does it really take that much effort for a woman to be flirty? And I was like, yeah, actually it does take effort. And he was like, really? And I said, yeah, the same way it takes effort for you guys to, uh, plan dates and do stuff like that. And he said, well, you know, we want to be flirty and plan dates when you give us something you know to look at or whatever and i was like yeah and we give you something to look at when you plan dates to take us somewhere like it's kind of difficult sometimes to even think i'm at home with the kids and getting them dressed and getting them fed getting them bathed getting them in bed but let me remember to get spruced up and put on some sexy to go nowhere we're gonna stay at home <laughs> and watch tv but if you like you know what I'm gonna get these kids and I'm gonna get them somewhere to go and we're gonna go out to hit dinner or to a movie or go out somewhere, then it kind of gives us a reason to put some clothes on and maybe throw some makeup on and do something different to your hair and ex get us excited to be cute. And so you really gotta meet halfway right there. And so it's just a conversation that we were having. And um, because of the conversation, I had already started, you know, doing. Uh, going backwards a little bit making sure that I was doing those little things that I used to do because they're important and he did the same thing He surprised me with a day night and just stuff that we used to do all the time That with these two small kids we weren't doing as much of and How do you have the conversation with the spouse about what it is that you need in this season? To continue things like that and make make that a priority be sure you have the conversation. Like you might even forget that that's something that you need or that you want, you know, how do you want them to flirt with you? How do you want them to talk to you? What type of text messages do you want to receive? What do you need to motivate you to even get in that space? Because now, you know, we have both work full time. We both have businesses outside of our full time job. Um, we have um, businesses together that we both work on 
and then we have the kids. So a lot of our communication. Yeah, so most of our have heart projects, you know, I want to do, I'm into mentoring and giving back to kids. You like giving and doing charitable stuff. All of that takes some type of energy. What was once effortless now requires some effort. You know, it was effortless just to, you know, send a text and pick up the phone and say something cute and hey, maybe sprinkle a bit nasty. But now, like you say, it's not even in your realm of thought. I think you cut me out of camera, but it's okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My arm got tired. Yeah. yeah we... <laughs> it is. You know, it's, it's not in your realm of thought because you have so many other things. And I guess, I don't know why you push that back. I think because feel like that'll be there or you feel like okay I gotta get to this everything takes a, a priority or has a sense of urgency that doesn't have a sense of urgency anymore. so that's the key is trying to get that in the same urgent category of deadlines uh, businesses and, and kids promotion, and kids kids yeah. definitely because it's like every time you pick up the phone, you're like, oh, well, kal has a fever <laughs> or, you know, Brielle needs to go to the doctor to do this. Or you pick up the phone to text and you're texting like, OK, this is where we are on marriage retreat payments. These are the clients that we have to see this week. I'm seeing these wives. These are the husbands that you're going to be talking to this week. These are the couples that we're meeting with together. These are the singles that you're meeting with. Um, I got a basketball. Um training schedule for you for this day you're going to be speaking at this church on this sunday do you have that outline already do you have the scriptures that you need it's just like so much other stuff that you got to talk about um uh, that you prioritize ahead of you know flirting and being nasty and text messages and all throughout the day and that stuff is important to lead up to uh sex and intimacy at night so if you are committed, like we are about getting it done, I mean, you can fight through the screen and get it done, but it is so much better when you make it a priority and you work on it and cultivate it all throughout the day, throughout the week, you know? So just brainstorming some things and we didn't want to get this clarity without sharing this clarity because I feel like we're not the only couple battling this and it might not be that you have businesses and small children taking your time it could be that you have uh sick parents or you know grown kids that mm -hmm. take your energy yes. just your job you might work seven days 12 hours like whatever it is that is has your plate full just make sure that you're making some some time and some room for each other and, and what you need in this season so make sure you have that conversation like this is what i need so hopefully this this that we're doing will prompt you to sit down with your spouse and say you know what are some of the things that we used to do or used to say or ways that we used to be with each other that we don't do anymore like what did i used to give to you what did i used to pour into you that i no longer give or pour and vice versa and not have this conversation with an attitude or you know, go in with an open mind and a willingness to hear and not feel attacked because it's okay. It's okay that you don't do it anymore, but it's not okay to stay that way if your spouse needs that. What did my pa Pastor Darius Daniel said? Look, it is not fair to to say that I can only shop at this one store for, <laughs> for all these things that I need in this relationship, and you don't put what I need on the shelf. It's not even on the shelf. I need it, but you won't put it on the shelf. Where am I supposed to get it from? <laughs> so make sure you know what your spouse needs. Make sure you know what you need and then communicate that in a loving way so that so that we can get there. Key word, loving way. Loving, sweet. No sugar in the words. <laughs> All right. You got anything else to add, baby? No, I'm good. Y'all have a, a blessed day. I'll talk to y'all later.